Hi. How are you? Good, you? Yeah. Good. So, how exactly do you pronounce your name? Is it Bolchin? Bolchin. Bolchin Motlupakti? Yes. Perfect. That's so interesting. So, you're from Turkey, correct? Yes, yes. I am from Turkey. Yes. So, you came to America for college and everything. Uh, I came here in 2009 uh, for master degree. Since I was a little kid, I always wanted to study, like, do science. I always wanted to do science because I felt that uh, science is more accurate. You know, you have proofs, you can show the truth easily, or you can search for in a uh, certain method methodology. It feels like very concrete. Uh, so I always wanted to study science, but for why uh, universe? It's just looking uh, looking in the sky. It's just enough yeah. for that, I guess. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. <laughs> okay. Um, so as a female astrophysicist, um, you know there's few women in the STEM field. So what do you believe would be a possible solution to motivate and encourage young women like me or younger than me to join the field? We really uh, need, to, need to change the language, I think. We really need to change uh, the profile in the universities, in education system. Like in my time, uh, it's the same oh, still. Uh, I never had a instructor like in science yes. a female instructor i always had a male instructor i was always uh, alone in my classes uh, i was the only female uh, society always told me if you go science you will be just a teacher not scientist you cannot be scientist so it it first discouraged me but then no, I can be the first one if needed, and uh, it was my motivation, but not every child may have this motivation, so we should show them, we should really support each other as a woman uh, that we can do, we can succeed, because here, for example, in my college, I remember my classmates, they were getting together, uh, they were hanging out, at the same time, they were like collaborating together, networking in their fields. But I was a bit outsider because I was not, I, I didn't belong them. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if we can change this environment, if, if we can change the, uh, the culture of others, yeah. then everything will change, everything will uh, women will not feel outsider in this kind of fields and it will it will be so easy after that and also I want to uh, point out that for example here in society uh, the most frustrating thing that I am encountering right now is I'm married and my husband lives in uh, Dallas and I am living in Tucson, Arizona and everyone it, it doesn't matter from which background they are. Everyone tells me that, you know, you are very successful, you are doing very interesting research, but family is much more important. You should quit and go back to your husband. But no one, no one has the same suggestion to do my husband. No one says, oh, you know, you are good, uh, but family is much important. Quit your job, go to your wife. No one says that. Everyone expects women to do the sacrifices for family, and this is the most frustrating things. And I know several people, uh, friends actually, uh, who did the sacrifice because of the, this constant sort types, this, this constant uh, criticisms. Yes, and the stereotypes, I understand. Yes. So, um, so far in your career, what's the most memorable element you've discovered in the galaxy? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we, we had actually very enjoy. I, I enjoyed every single step of my research. So, uh, of course, the most, most most exciting thing was our discovery, the, the first time that we realized it's a unique object, and we studied in detail, and we find a, a 
first description of an inner ring in such a peculiar system. So it was first we didn't believe we couldn't uh, understand the reasoning behind it. Then we tried uh, several uh, methods, different methods to prove its existence. So it's it was there and it was a huge excitement. Oh, we discovered something unique. And it, it is, you know, what I really enjoy what I'm doing. I am uh, looking into deep, deep in sky and searching for the unknown. This is amazing. It looks like, it's like uh, I am doing my hobby and they are paying me for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah. um, in a few words, how would you describe what you do at University of Arizona? So, I basically study, uh, so we live in uh, Galaxy Milky Way and uh, we are studying the nearby environment. Okay. Uh, so, we are trying to find the smallest and the faintest galaxy uh, nearby Milky Way and it's, wow. it will help us to really, uh, like, further our understanding galaxy formation it's it will be very unique so we have very uh, exciting uh, observations yeah. so we visit hawaii i visit hawaii chile wow. to uh, observe this huge eight meter telescopes and it's it's really nice <laughs> wow. so um after working here for a while have you noticed any improvement in your research has it better your career in any way it's really, uh, Arizona is, is a huge astronomy community, has a huge astronomy community, and I feel so lucky to have this diverse research fields that I can learn from them. I can really improve my knowledge. Uh, I, I feel very uh, lucky in this sense. With the VR, each week we are having several uh, scientists coming here, talking about their research, giving advices. So... Uh, networking with them and sharing their experience it's really a huge plus for us okay and last question um what's the last message you would want to leave here so i could spread it to the whole tucson community what's one message i especially want to say especially to the girls especially to women to minorities anyone uh, who uh, whose dreams are questions because questions because of the all sorts, all sort of social norms. Just don't give up. Just hang in there. We can do it. We just need to support each other. We can just believe in yourself. Follow your dream. Thank you so much. I know you have such a crazy <laughs> schedule, but t thank you for giving me ten minutes of your time. <laughs> no problem. Thank it you was so much. nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice to all meet right, you. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye.